the 2019 NFL Draft is in less than three weeks. Here's a look at our latest mock draft, with Jacob Kamenker and Ian Cummings playing dueling GMs. Yes, the 2019 NFL Draft begins in 20 days. Draft day is almost here. But until that time officially gets here, there are going to be a ton of rumors, speculation, and of course, mock drafts. This time around, we wanted to give you a little something different for a mock. We've done a handful of mocks so far this season, and have a few different ideas about who the Washington Redskins may take with their first selection. But we wanted to add a wrinkle this time, so we did. This time around, we're doing a dueling GM's mock draft. Two people, myself and Ian Cummings, will be making the picks in this draft. We alternated picks, with Ian drafting the odds and me grabbing the evens, to make sure there's a bit more variety in this mock. Because at this time of the year, there are crazy rumors and different values all over the place. And that won't be settled until the draft. This exercise should help us to better shake out what the first round could end up looking like. So, without further ado, let's get started with the mock, as Ian gets to go first with the Arizona Cardinals. Next, 1. Arizona Cardinals page 2 MIAMI, FL, December 29th, Kyler Murray. Photo by Michael Reeves, Getty Images, Ian Cummings, once a laughable off-season rumor, the Kyler Murray to Arizona talk has roared into a furor, and now it's almost a foregone conclusion that the 2018 Heisman winner will be dressed in crimson once again in 2019, is there a chance that all this hype is an elaborate smokescreen by the Cardinals, to try and acquire a King's Ransom in a trade down? Possibly. But with the regime change on hand, and with Cliff Kingsbury coming into the fold, there's legitimate reason to think he could prefer Kyler Murray in his scheme. From a value standpoint, it would be better to keep Josh Rosen and build around him. In that course of action, the Cardinals would keep their franchise quarterback and keep their number one overall pick to add talent around that franchise quarterback. That said, while the value is greater, sometimes a coach's preference trumps all. Kyler Murray is a generational prospect with his combination of speed, arm talent, and pure accuracy, and as good as Rosen is, Murray has the potential to be a superstar as well. Some coaches just want their guy. And it looks like the Cardinals might have found their guy a year later than they expected. Next, two. San Francisco 49ers page 3 SANTA Clara, CA, January 7th, Quinn and Williams. Photo by Ezra Shaw, Getty Images, Jacob Kamenker. Okay, we're going to start out by having a little fun here. If Kyler Murray goes off the board with the first pick as we're expecting, the 49ers will be in position to land one of the best defensive prospects in this draft. Many assume that they are most interested in Nick Bosa, and that could be true. However, there's also a chance that Quinn and Williams could be the apple of their eyes. Williams wouldn't necessarily fill as big a need for the 49ers as Bosa would, but playing Williams along with DeForest Buckner on the interior could be too good to pass up. Williams is arguably the best player in this draft class. He came into the zone at Alabama in the wake of Darren Payne's departure. Williams had a monstrous 71 tackles, 19.5 tackles for loss, and 8.0 sacks playing on the defensive line at Alabama. He constantly forced his way into the backfield and has an elite first step. He should be able to shoot gaps at the NFL level and wreak havoc as an interior rusher. Want your voice heard? Join the Rigos Rag Team. Right for us, Williams did a lot to back up his tape by blazing a 4.83 in the 40-yard dash at the Combine. He also moved extremely well despite his larger size, 6 to 3, 303 pounds, and could be the next strong interior pass rusher to join the NFL ranks. He is well-rounded and should have scheme versatility as well. It's quite possible that the 49ers will pursue Bosa with this pick but Williams still should remain firmly in play, especially in the wake of the trade for Ford. We'll soon see how taking Williams affects the rest of this GM muck. 
page 4 INDIANAPOLIS In, March 3, defensive lineman Nick Bosa of Ohio State works out during day 4 of the NFL Combine at Lucas Oil Stadium on March 3, 2019 in Indianapolis, Indiana. Photo by Joe Robbins, Getty Images, Ian, there aren't many scenarios in which Nick Bosa falls past the no. Pick, but when they occur, the New York Jets are always very happy, for some reason. The Jets have a clear need for an edge rusher. They had the intention of converting Vikings linebacker Anthony Barr to an edge rusher through free agency, but those plans went awry when Barr passed up a Jets deal to return to Minneapolis. Now, the Jets remain in the market for a sack artist, and in the 2019 NFL Draft, there aren't many players who live up to that moniker better than Ohio State's Nick Bosa. Bosa didn't get the chance to produce much in his final collegiate season, as an injury cut his year short. But one year earlier, he showed more than enough to warrant an early first-round selection. Bosa is a solid athlete with excellent play strength, motor, and hand precision, and if he can stay healthy, he'll be one of the top players at his position for a long time. The Jets' takeoff has started, and with Bosa, they gain a bit more momentum. Page 5 Use your arrows to browse Lexington, KY, September 22, Josh Allen. Photo by Andy Lyons, Getty Images, Jacob, could the Raiders surprise and take a quarterback here? It's possible. However, unless Kyler Murray is on the board, it seems far more likely that they will target some help on the edge. They have a great option with the fourth pick. Josh Allen is a really good option for the Raiders. The Kentucky pass rusher could have entered the 2018 NFL Draft, and he may have had a chance at going in the first round in that class. However, he decided to go back to school. Thankfully, he did. Having two Josh Allens in the same draft class would have been an absolute nightmare. Jokes aside, Allen really benefited from an extra year at Kentucky. He finally was able to put everything together and put together one of the most productive seasons in all of college football. He logged the ridiculous 17.5 sacks for the upstart Wildcats and helped to make them a contender late in the year for the first time. His consistent pass rushing production should translate to the NFL. Allen has good versatility, as he can play the edge and may possess the ability to be a stand-up linebacker in some packages too. He'll be best served playing on the edge, and that's where the Raiders will use him. The Raiders desperately need pass rushing help after trading Khalil Mack shortly before last season. Allen could at least give them one strong player at the position and start the fill the void left behind by the Mack trade. Next, 5. Tampa Bay Buccaneers use your arrows to browse.